Hey, we have here today another integral. This one's from MIT Integration B 2014, problem 19. We have an integral from zero to one over square root of three, square root of x plus square root x squared plus one dx. I think the double square root's gonna make this a little more difficult. What I did the first time I did this, I actually did trick substitution. As you notice, if we substituted in a tan, a tangent right there for an x, I noticed it was kind of long that way, and so what I wanted to do instead was just do a, a straight u substitution without the trick sub. So to get started with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this hole inside the radical for u. So I'm going to call my u equal to x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Before I go and start taking derivatives, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to need some more work because it's a little bit more complicated of a u substitution. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get u squared. And that's going to be, we're going to just square out this right side and get x squared. Squaring this, we're going to have x squared plus 1. And then multiplying the inner terms, we're going to have 2x times x squared plus 1. But then combining terms, we're going to actually have 2x squared. I'm going to bring over my 2x squared of x squared plus 1 and a plus 1. Then from this, we have a 2x in common. So we'll just factor out this 2x and we're going to have x plus square root of x squared plus one, but we like that because that's our u. So with that being u, again, we'll rewrite, we're gonna have two x, so our u squared is gonna be equal to two x times u plus one. What this is gonna allow us to do is from here, we can actually solve for x. We'll subtract the one on both sides and we have u squared minus one equals two x u, but then we'll divide by two u and we're left with x equals u squared minus 1 over 2u. Okay, now from here we have our x value. What I'm going to do, let's take the derivative and use the quotient rule. So we're going to have dx equals derivative of the top is 2u times the denominator, which is 2u, minus u squared minus 1, which is the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 2. And then this is going to be over... Uh, the denominator squared, which is going to be 4u squared. Okay, from here what we need to do is just kind of clean up the numerator and multiply things out. So what we're going to have here, multiplying, we're going to have a 4u squared. And then, let's see, distributing and the 2, let's do this all in one step. So we're going to have minus 2u squared um, and plus 2 all over 4u squared. And then cleaning up a little more, subtracting these, we're going to have 2u squared. So 2u squared over 4u squared is going to be 1 half. And then for this last term, we're going to have 1 half u to the minus 2 with the u squared in the denominator. Okay, so now I think we have everything we need to do the substitution. So what we'll do first is we'll take our bounds, plug it in for x here. Let's plug in 1 squared of 3 into this, but I'm going to do it off to the side just because it's a little messy. So we're going to have 1 squared of 3 plus square root, one square root of three squared is going to be one third plus one. So we're going to have one square root of three. That's going to be four thirds. So we're going to have square root of four thirds. But this is just going to be one square root of three plus two over square root of three, which is three square root of three. And then I'll just uh, multiply a square root of three on top and bottom. And then this is going to cancel with this and we're left with square root of three. Then plugging zero into our equation, we're gonna have zero plus zero plus one, so it's just the square root of one. Our bottom bound is gonna be one. Then since this is u, we're gonna have square root of u, but I'm gonna write it as u to the one half. And then for dx, we have this stuff over here on the right, so we're gonna have one half plus one half u minus two du. Then let's just distribute this in here. We'll have here one half u one half plus another one half and then u one half times u minus two is going to be u to the minus three halves du okay nice you can see it's getting easy right so now we just have the power rule so we'll integrate this so we're going to have one half integrating this power rule we're going to have u three halves and then a two-thirds in front Power rule on u minus 3 halves is going to be u, adding 1 is going to be u minus 1 half. Then we need to multiply a 2 out front, and we have this half. So this is actually going to just cancel right here. 
and we're evaluating from 1 to square root of 3. We'll get a cancel here. So let's just simplify everything before we um, evaluate the bound. So we're going to have 1 third u to the 3 halves minus u to the minus 1 half. And all we need to do is plug things in. So we're going to have 1 third. Okay, so square root of 3 is 3 to the 1 half. So plugging in 3, 1 half, 3 to the 1 halves here is going to be 3 to the 3 quarters. And we have a minus. Again, 3 to the 1 half to the minus 1 half is going to be 3 to the minus 1 fourth. And then we just got this. We have this 1 here. I'm going to write it. Okay, so we're going to have minus. Plugging 1 in here. 1, it doesn't matter the power. It's just going to be 1 third. And plugging a 1 in here. One, um, one over square root of one, just one. So we're gonna have a minus one over here. This piece is easy, this is minus two thirds. This is a little messy. Just to clarify this, we're gonna have, if you look at three to the three fourths over three, we can write this as a one, and then just doing exponent rules, this is gonna be the same thing as three to the minus one fourth. So if this right here is three to the minus one fourth, and this is three to the minus one fourth, Subtracting it, this piece goes to zero. So then we just need to distribute this minus sign here, and we're left with our final answer, which is gonna be just two thirds. That's it, good problem from MIT 2014, problem 19. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.